Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 27th going to the 3rd of December. It's the last month of the year. Um, so let's dive into it. Let's see what's going on. I just want to mention that we have a yes or no coin to flip at the end. So make sure you get your question ready. And we still have a lovely offer on Aura. Okay, so if you guys are into meditation, uh, want to get more into meditation, if you want to step into your intuition and tap into it more, if you want to balance your chakras, whatever you want to do, it is all on the app, I promise you. Sleep sounds, ASMR, hypnosis, prayers, whatever it is. If you want a daily prayer to listen to, it's on there. Gratitude, whatever. It's all on there. Okay, so if you want to try that out, there is a seven-day free trial linked down below. Um, and you get 25% off your membership if you want to continue, okay? But anyway, <laughs> let's dive in. Let's see what's going on for Scorpios. All right, please, Spirit, for Scorpio, please. For this week. All right, you have three. That's a little bit too much for me. We have two than one, so we will honor these. We'll take them into consideration, but we'll go with the one that's left on its own. You have observer and blessed. This kind of feels like a period where you may have been reflecting, contemplating. Sometimes the blessed card comes up when it's a bit like, you know, something wasn't the right time. Maybe you were rejected from something in the past or whatever. Or maybe you just didn't feel ready for something and an opportunity kind of flew by. It's okay. You weren't ready for it, was not the right time. In this meantime, though, that you have been, you know, a little bit stagnant or, you know, um, on a pause, reflection, <laughs> on a reflection, reflecting or on a pause, or whatever, the observer card comes through and says that there is something really big coming in in terms of your future, but you're just trying to figure it out. All right, trying to get your eyes on it, observing what it is you desire, okay? So I, I like that energy. It's feeling blessed. And also I think that your um, achievements are getting bigger, which is good. Like the way that you like see your future is getting bigger. Like you're expanding uh, Scorpio, which is really, really lovely. There is an energy of feeling blessed. There is an energy of getting ready for your future. I love it. Um, you also have the to be fair card. So this kind of reminds me of the justice. This reminds me of Libra and energy. Okay, so you could be dealing with that. Something could be continuing from Libra season whatever this is really about weighing up your options here um this also kind of feels like a life review coming up for you guys this week where you're going okay what do i need in my life right now what is taking up too much time energy space in my world in my reality in my mind whatever it is and what is good for me and you're really kind of calling the shots here about okay this needs to go that needs to stay this needs to go you know this is good energy i, I like it you're being very honest and open about what is necessary needed in your life and what isn't all right let's dive in let's see some more for you you have a woman holding a coin pisces had this as well this represents the fact that maybe you if you represent the woman holding a coin could be bringing some more finances stability resources in your life all right focusing more on your stability etc um or others of you you could be collaborating with this person or this woman holding a coin is going to be giving you some compliments, admiration, appreciation, whatever it is, and maybe a bonus or financial gain, whatever it is, okay? So someone could be giving this to you, or you could be giving it to yourself, depends on uh, who the woman is in your life. All right, let's dive into your tarot. Let's see what's going on, please, for Scorpios. We're doing the tarot a little bit differently, so if you see a little bit more reversals, I wanted to see, I wanted to experiment with my deck, okay? So let's see. Four Scorpios, please, this week. Seven of Cups reversed. All right. Scorpio's energy currently for the week. Six of Pentacles reversed. Okay. One more. And three of Cups. A lot of um, water cups. <laughs> water cups. Oh my God. Yes. It's one of those days. Um, you know, cup cards is what I'm supposed to say, okay, which is all about your emotions, which is good. You guys are a water sign, so kind of in your element. Seven of Cups in the reverse tells me that you are kind of not making a decision right now, maybe because the options around you aren't feeling so um, bold, aren't feeling so obvious to you, maybe you aren't really liking the options that are around you, so Three of Cups is about celebration, creativity, it's about friendships, community, it's about joy, all right, happiness, so it's not a bad energy to be in, but you could be 
avoiding a decision around this time because the six of pentacles is also in reverse. Now, I don't mind the seven of cups being reversed, but the six of pentacles reversed tells me that there is an imbalance in your life. So some of you could be partying a bit too hard. Or some of you could be focusing a little bit too much on, um, you know, temporary short term happiness and maybe not enough on a long term. So I do see that that's what's changing because we did have that observer card that came up for you. This is you thinking about your future. Um, I think it's because you feel okay at the moment. The spirit's telling me that there is something bigger to, to focus on, okay? So it's time to maybe look at, let's clarify, what's wrong with the Three of Cups? The Wheel of Fortune, this is just joy. Some of you guys may have already reached like a really happy achievement here. This is about expansion, it's about blessings. So you guys could be celebrating this week something really happy. And there's a lot of people cards coming through. So just a lot of networking, happiness, collaboration. So let's look at the Six of Pentacles reverse then. Queen of Swords. Okay, what's happening is there's a lack of boundaries. This could be within yourself, all right? Lack of discipline. Um, this could be, again, like maybe uh, giving too much to others. Giving too much to... Uh, some of you, again, that could be your finances. <laughs> be careful. You could be giving too much to others and not enough to yourself. Again, maybe this is about financial awareness some of you might need. This Queen of Swords is that Libra and Energy. And Six of Pentacles usually has a scale as well. So there is a very big need to focus a little bit more on what relationships, what situations are actually giving back to in the long term. Okay, so focus on, on that. <laughs> it feels like that. that's what's happening for you guys this week. All right, what are the current blockages then, please, for Scorpio? Four of Swords. All right, this is like resting, healing, focusing on your health because it's in the reverse position. I wonder if you guys are doing that too much. Like, I don't want to say that any of you... I don't know. I'm just going to go with the cards. Please don't get irritated by me. If, if the message is not yours, then that's completely fine. Four of Swords in the upright, in a blockage position. Maybe you guys are sleeping a bit too much or maybe that's something that you need to focus on this week. It could be getting in a way of things. Maybe it's a lack of sleep. You know, it could be one or the other, but basically it's a bit of a blockage for you at the moment. Blockage, please, for Scorpio. Page of Pentacles reversed. This tells me that there again is like a lack of taking the first step into something that you probably are already desiring. Okay, there is something that you do want in your future. The woman holding a coin is kind of initiating that to me. This reminds me of the Queen of Pentacles, which tells me that that's probably where you want to go. Financial independence, stability. This is telling me that you're not making the first step though into making that happen, okay? And again, only for a few of you. This is usually the uh, apprentice card, okay, which is again learning as you're doing something. Your exhaustion or your health maybe or lack of discipline might be preventing you from actually like taking that action towards what it is that you really do desire. And maybe this is why this energy is coming through. To be fair is, again, we need to weigh things up. We need to bring things back into balance into your world. Let me just get one more for the Page of Pentacles reversed. Oops. The Queen of Pentacles tried to come through. If you see here, that's very interesting. But there was one that came out. It's the Empress. All right. So this is abundance, by the way, guys. Some of you, I, mean, I don't know if like a goal of yours is to be the Empress, whether that is, you know, to do with your mindset, which is again, believing in abundance, trusting in the universe. It could be, you know, like entrepreneurship, having your own big company, being able to be that uh, relax and let everyone else do the work kind of thing. It's not always, that's just the energy I'm picking up on. The Empress being reversed with that page of pentacles reversed. You have the capabilities of being in this energy, but it's a lack of discipline, almost like you need the emperor in your life now to then have the empress later. Does that make sense? You need to take action now in order to rest in the future. Does that make sense? Some of you Scorpios need to hear that. Justice is on the bottom of the deck as well. So again, 
Strong Libran energy is needed in your life. <laughs> Need to bring something into balance. I think you're just having fun. That's the energy here. But Spirit is saying, you've got to get something done. You you have a goal. You have something to reach here. An abundance to reach. Some of you just want to be live uh, your future life in a really beautiful, kind of relaxed way. It's a very powerful energy, by the way. Like Even if it's just being able to manifest what you desire. The Empress has a really good trust on what she's deserving of will come to her anyway. But you're not taking the action, so how can you expect it to come your way? All right, anyway, just for a few, I'm sure. Let's see in the recent past, please, for Scorpio. Ace of Cups. Some of you may have come into a new love, new self-love. This is a good energy, and I, I, I feel like that's probably why you're celebrating now. Like, you're in a good... Good energy now. That's what it feels like to me. You're in a good energy. I think you're having fun. There is good coming into your life. You do feel blessed. But there is an energy here of... <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's almost like I'm trying to get, like, to the point. Maybe there is, the, again, this... You're missing a goal. I don't know what it is this, they're saying here. Let's, let's see. We'll see in the near future what they're talking about. Ace of Cups may have recently been and you know, may have met someone new, all right? Or again, this is like a newfound peace, newfound emotions. It's abundant. This is very beautiful. Whatever you've reached in the past is, is very awesome is the word coming to mind. All right, recent past, please. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, all right? There may have been something that you've invested in in the past here. I wonder if you guys have currently like kind of gone back on yourself a little bit since then. But anyway, they're saying it doesn't matter because you will get it back again. Knight of Pentacles is an investment. It could be taking things slow, steady. Some of you may have recently gotten a relationship and it definitely feels like it can go the long term. Some of you have made like a financial investment or, you know, you've taken action towards something that will, you know, planting a seed. You've planted a seed in the past. You nurtured it. You gave it that what it needed. Um, but some of you need to come back to that, all right? Some of you, this could be a routine, an idea. Like, you had it, you had it going, but maybe you got a bit distracted in the fun and in the joy and in the blessing of life. That's not, not a bad thing. But I do believe it's a bit, been needed now to be a bit more focused. One more for the recent past for Scorpio. King of Pentacles, some of you have met your match. Someone who may be financially stable, or again, this could represent you guys, okay? Scorpio, this could be you once upon a time. This is your recent past energy. Maybe you did get, you know, that dream job. Maybe you are receiving a lot of finances and stability in your life. This is very beautiful energy. Some of you, in terms of relationships, you've met your match. I like that. But in terms of this being you... I think there's a lot of action taking, a lot of like good energy in, in your recent past. It does feel like in your present, again, we might not be in that same point, but we can always bring that back. Let's see the near future for you. Scorpio, you have the tower. If that is not Scorpio energy, damn. Tower and a two of swords. This feels like something unexpected is going to be happening in your near future, okay? One where you will have to make a decision. All right, this feels like divine intervention quite, quite intensely, to be honest. It's almost like if you don't make a decision, then the universe is going to do it for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you feel like you have more time to do something, and I actually kind of... Not to scare anyone. I don't want to scare anyone. You, I feel like you already know what you need to do, but we'll dive into it. If not, I'm sure it will come up. Tower into a sword is maybe you are delaying something, taking your time with it, you know, having fun, celebrating, you know, whatever it is. And boom, the tower card comes, and it's like... I'm always feeling silent, like... I'm hearing like a silent surprise, what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's good though. Let me see. I Something might just happen. What What is this energy, please? Can you give me another card to clarify? Some of you, it's going to be a blessing. Two of Swords, can you clarify the Two of Swords? Seven of Swords reversed. Ooh. This could just, again, be kind of going against the plan or a strategy here. Some of you, again, maybe you didn't see someone's lies or deception, whatever it is with the Seven of Swords. The Tower card 
I do believe there will be a blessing, but I wonder if this is just the universe's kind of sense of humor of like, this is a good thing in their world. Let's see. You will receive a sudden blessing. A sudden, a silent surprise. Why is seven of swords, two of swords here? The fool. It does kind of feel like a new beginning. Some of you could like be relocation here. And they're saying it's a blessing, but for some reason, like I do just get this energy of like, maybe for some of you, actually, I'm just going to say it as if it's good because I was a little bit intimidated by the two of souls in the tower. But I feel like that's maybe where the to be fair card comes in. I feel like this is more good than it. I think it's surprising and I think it's going to throw you in like a, a world you desired. But maybe you don't feel quite ready for it yet. Like, damn, like I wasn't prepared for it. And that's what they're actually asking of you. Sorry, Scorpio. We're going to bring the message back in now. They're asking that. Full circle here is like you felt like you had time. No. Whatever it is that you're desiring is actually just going to come straight in. Some of you, this could be collaboration, building a business, building a company. This is positive in the end. It is a new journey, new chapter, something that you want and desire. But it's better to be a little bit more prepared because the way that it happens is going to feel like a big, you know, like I'm sensing that, you know, when you fall or go over a big hill or whatever fast, like when my parents used to do that when I was younger, like drive over the hill really fast and make your stomach drop, like, or like a roller coaster ride you're going down like but it's not a bad down it's a leap of faith but it's something you don't see coming it's a big decision you'll end up making in the near future because the universe is just gonna boom either they're gonna do it for you or they're gonna sit you down scorpio in the hot seat and they're gonna go okay now you need to make it based on your environment it's gonna really force you what's the like a it's like they're pushing you through this really tight hole, you know, into the other side. So that tells me you might feel pressure in the moment. That tells me you might feel a little bit like, I'm sensing like claustrophobic, but of course in the way of everything's happening at once. Oh my God, like, sorry, I didn't mean to swear at anyone. Like that is, <laughs> um, like if you imagine like the tight squeeze before being pushed out into something completely open, like, ah. I'm sensing that you guys are having an upgrade. That's what they're representing here. A new life is what it's coming through as. Okay. Why is the seven of swords here though? Reversed. Queen of Cups. Some of you could again just be like, it could be like an emotional thing. Maybe you've been running more on your emotions, you know, and letting them kind of get in the way of certain things. And maybe that's why again that we have this here. In your present, it does feel like it's in your present giving too much to something so when you go through this thing there is a happy ending but like say for example it's like you have to invest in something you will somehow find the way to do it but again that's why they're saying it's better to be prepared there is a blessing anyway that's what the happy novel card is saying all right any advice for scorpio this week ace of swords all right, it's about living in your truth, speaking your truth. This is about communication, clarity. Let's, let's clarify it. Page of Wands, there could be some good news coming in. Page of Wands could be appreciation and recognition from some people, some compliments, some admirers, but it could be a really good business opportunity. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Reversed, all right? I like this energy just because Ten of pentacles is that stability like that dream being really either in like you'll be living your dreams what i'm hearing or it's going to be really in your sight like it's not far away it's not impossible seven of wands means that you can finally release everything you've been battling this whole time so if you felt quite exhausted with all these things happening at once ten of pentacles is like a strong community stability so all the work that you end up having to do in the near future with this big strong energy, okay, will be definitely worth it. Like I'm hearing like the bells ringing, I'm hearing like there's a lot of success in your near future as well. But there is that tight squeeze though. <laughs> there is a tight squeeze, very interesting. All right, anyway, let's go in 
to your oracle let's see what's going on for you here then we'll answer your yes or no question oops all right thank you yeah we have bird parched waiting for news package or letter this week we do have getting together with friends which we already see with the three of cups Doors are waiting, opportunities are waiting for you. Doors are waiting for you. That's the tower and the two of swords, though. I think, again, the universe is, you've had enough. <laughs> you've had enough time. Let's go. Um, we have the club here. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Be, pay attention to that. You have changes in your life. And you have bowl, plenty of material things. That's the change in your life. All right. Big things coming for you guys, okay? All right, get prepared is what I want to is what I want to say for you guys because you won't expect this to happen so quickly. All right, anyway, it's a blessing anyway, and it's a new journey, a new path. It is good. We have the full card here. I have to say that it will have its up and downs, of course, but ultimately it is the right path to go down. Anyway, let's flip your coin. Make sure you pause the reading if you need to have some more time to answer, ask your question. But let's um let's flip the coin for you, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Please bring it for Scorpio's question, please. All right. You guys have the yes. You have yes to answer your question. Sorry, I'm not the best with phrasing my words anymore. All right, so that's what the universe has to say for your question. All right, my lovelies, but I wish you guys all the best. Thank you so much for being here. I hope the reading helped. I am doing it a little bit differently nowadays, and I like changing things up. It makes it fun for me. I hope it makes it fun for you as well. So let me know down below. But anyway, I love you guys, and I hope to see you guys next time. All right.